Okay, I'm back, and in this Roku hack video, um, this one's about <clears throat> putting XBMC or Cody on the Roku. Now, you may think this is one of those baloney videos because there was one where somebody demonstrated XBMC or Cody on the Roku, and it was basically his phone um, airplaying it to the Roku, airplaying Cody that he was running on his phone or whatever. This one it will not be showing it running because I don't actually have it, but let me explain. I believe that you could run full-blown Cody on a Roku for five dollars. How you ask? I'm not able to do this, that's why I'm throwing this video out there and anybody who's able to do this will be able to, to accomplish this. The idea was to buy a five dollar Roku, I mean I'm sorry, a five dollar <clears throat> Raspberry Pi Zero. Open up the Roku, install it inside, <clears throat> and somehow um, stream the data. You know, of course, you install Cody on this, and you either using the GPI GPIO pins, maybe even USB. I don't know. I think it would have to be through the GPIO pins. You connect this to the Roku, including the HDMI. <clears throat> where it sends the signal into the uh, Roku and I, I think the best way would probably be through the Ethernet port where you kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, SSH into the Roku to access this would require that someone makes an app a channel that specifically uh, only exists to access whatever's coming out of this uh, Raspberry Pi Zero okay so I saw somebody do a video where they connected their Raspberry Pi onto their laptop through the Ethernet port. So basically the video was being sent out somehow through the Ethernet port, kind of like when you have a security camera uh, set up in your, I don't know, your place of business. And the uh, for, as extension cables to send video, they use Ethernet. Not for Internet, it sends the video as data. So <clears throat> I saw someone doing this on a YouTube video where they were sending out video data whatever the Raspberry Pi was displaying was going into the Ethernet port of the laptop and showing up on the laptop as though it were native I think it was coming in through the terminal or something like that so I know it's possible so one can do the same thing on the Roku 2 XS send the data out you know you'd have to connect a, a USB to Ethernet on, on one of these ports <clears throat> and create a channel that perhaps turns this into an input or perhaps through Wi-Fi, I don't know. Where, whatever's on the Pi, you'd be able to see it on the Roku 2's display via a channel that you create on the Roku specifically to access this. Trust me, it's possible. If I were able to do it, I'd do it. I'm going to certainly try. And then you'd have, not only would you have Cody on the Roku 2XS or any Roku, Although I think that would only be possible on the Roku 2 XS and the Roku 3 and the new Roku 2. But you'd also, <clears throat> you might also be able to have Raspbian on here and uh, RetroPie. Imagine playing RetroPie on your Roku and, you know, sync this up to the RetroPie. The Bluetooth remote, already got the joystick buttons. You know, you'd be able to play a bunch of 8-bit games, maybe some 16-bits that only require two buttons. But anyway, that's the thing. You could also, if you wanted something more powerful, connect the Roku 3 to the Roku 2 XS, you know, and kind of mount it underneath or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't fit inside. I've never tried that. <clears throat> Just have a double decked. <coughs> Make it one unit. <clears throat> but that's less practical. <clears throat> I think this is perfect. Open up your Roku, put it inside, connect it via Ethernet where the Roku 2 XS is able to access it or through Wi-Fi which means you'll either have to put a Ethernet dongle here or a Wi-Fi dongle and then it can be accessed through that Roku channel let's just call it Cody and through that channel you'd be able to access the Raspberry Pi Zero <clears throat> so anyway I'm doing this video more as a an idea to throw out there to any people who, uh, any hackers who would think that they're able to take on that challenge.
Uh, all I care about is that it works and somebody does it. Anyhow, see you in my next... Oh, just let me show you something stupid here. Hold on a second. This is one of my stupid things to do with your Roku. Okay, there you go. Stupid things to do with your Roku. I got a uh, powered fan running off my Roku. It's a lot of power. <laughs> Anyhow, see you in my next video.